So there's quite a few different places back here um, that you didn't know before. I, I'm sure of it. A lot of you have um, come here to River's Edge for many years, and this was the only available place you can come with your RV. Not any longer. And we're going to show you, just in this little area, you're going to find at least four different places you can go to. Now here's the very popular River's Edge, and they're doing a lot of work here. Miss Marie's getting video, I'm getting video, so she's going to catch what I can't see. Good. Because normally I gotta do it all. Being I've chained Miss Marie to the seat, she can't go anywhere, so she might as well take it here. A lot of you are familiar with this place. You've been coming here for years. River's Edge has a nice um, spots, they're gravel, whereas at Margaritaville they were all cement, and that may mean something to you. Some people want nothing but cement, so now you have that option in the same place. And then we're going to show you something else completely different, all adjacent to this area right before you go to Gatlinburg. If you look straight ahead, that's Parkway going to Gatlinburg. So all you'd have to do is pull out, go to the light, make a right. You can't make a left here. You go to the next light, make a left, look, look around, and you go to Gatlinburg. But here's another cool feature. If you don't have an RV and you don't have a motorhome, but you don't want to stay in a hotel, how about the Foothills RV Park entrance and park cabins? You go, oh man, we don't have an RV. You don't need one. They got little tiny homes up here. These are perfect. Miss Marie's gonna get all these. Did you get that? Yeah. No, no. You were moving. Oh, okay. So here's what's nice. This is the Foothills RV Park and Cabins. Very cool. Little tiny cabins. I mean, little tiny cabins, but they're so cute. These would be fun for a weekend getaway. They got their own little tiny porches. It's adorable. And I'm sure they're not very expensive. I'm, I'm sure they're very affordable. Look how cute they are. Right on the parkway, right near all the hotels and the restaurants and anything you might want. Isn't that cool? These do have hibachis. They have a bathhouse up here, so you don't have to walk all the way down to the riverside. Cute little cabins. Look how cute they are. 
Look at that. It's like a hobbit house. They even have a pool. I'll make sure Miss Murray gets that. I'll come down Where on the Where's the pool? It'll be hot. You'll get it on the way back down. Great little getaway cabin. That's cute. Yeah, they're adorable. A couple of those on the property would look nice too, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then they're going to have renters. No, that's just for when people come to visit. Oh. Little one bedroom, bathroom, probably a little kitchenette. Right. Right? Cooler than cool. They adorable. Definitely one bedroom, one bath, a little place to sit outside. Very comfortable. Good little getaways. There's the pool. Little kidney shaped pool. I wonder if it has a kidney stone in it. Well, you would think a kidney-shaped stool this pool would have a stone in it. So they can park the RV on far. Yep. And then back the RV. It's got septic. It's got um, some of them have a bocce, some don't, but all have a fire ring. They've got the um, power. I'm. Sure, they've got at least 30 amp and most likely 30 and 50 amp. I would have to go up there and check each one out. But I, in this day and age, 30 isn't enough for most motor coaches or even large RVs. You gotta have 50 amp. So you can power up all your fun tools <laughs> that you gotta have. Okay. These are the backs of the gray cabins that we first showed you. So you got air conditioning. It's not central, but that would cool off the whole thing. You would never get warmer, I'm sure of it. Interesting little place, isn't it? And they do have RV parking up here. It's a very little park, so very quaint. There's the, uh, the bathhouse. I'm sure they have showers and all that stuff. In there. I mean, all these places do. Right. So this is it. Right, now, now that you thought you thought it was all over, right? You said, "Oh, Jeff and Marie, this is so boring." Oh, uh, no, we're not done. No, we are not. <laughs> Let me show you something else. Now, once again, we're still in the same place. There's the parkway. That's heading to Gatlinburg. Turn left. You'd make a little left out of the cabin place to Spring Valley Road. This is another Spring Valley Road, which is weird. There's about four of them that I know of. It must be the... <laughs> well, I do. I know at least four Spring Valley Roads. It's like, uh, come up with another name. All right, this is another place. This is the Foothills Cabins now. Miss Marie's going to be running her. She's already running it. I'm running mine. These are adorable little A-frame cabins. Now, if you don't like a conventional square cabin, A-frame is cute, too. I'm going to pull over for this What side. is that? That is in the office? Uh, it doesn't say office. No, it's um, Patriot Getaways. So this is... These, they might accommodate a couple of people or more because of the A-frame. The upper would probably be a loft for several people. They're really cute.
and then they have a little lodge over here. We'll get all that on the way back. Miss Murray will get that. But these are more like um, little motel rooms. I look at that. Yeah. Spring Valley Road apartment. Oh, so this is an apartment. It's not motels. These are actually apartments. Why, why wouldn't you want to live this close to the river? That'd be so cool. And there's what you call what? Alpine Hideaway? Alpine Hideaway Campground. Another place. So you guys didn't know all this stuff existed till Vacation Station TV showed it to you. <laughs> <laughs> you are something else. I know. Jerk. I'm such an idiot, aren't I? You're such an idiot. I'm such a jerk. So here is Alpine Hideaway Campground. We'll wait for the FedEx guy to get out of the way. We'll pause the camera. There I go. Got one? Yeah. Okay. Because it's steady on the car. All right, this is going into the Alpine Hideaway Campground. Now you want to go camping. Um, this is a cute little park. It is tiny. I didn't know this existed back here. I didn't know. Oh, you gotta register at the office. I can't get through. Oh. I can't get through. But at least you can it's a very small campground, but looks cute. Looks it's very good. Maybe thirty spots. Maybe. Yeah, I'll take a picture. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. okay, we're going up Troy Drive. I have no idea what's up here. It says no through traffic, so. It's going up high. All right, Miss Mary? Mm -hmm. you get a picture of the campground. Or a video of the campground. Quite a few spaces, it's bigger than I thought. It goes way back. They got little cabins, little one bedroom cabin, they're cute. Everything is back end, from what I can tell. You got to back end your coach or your RV. No pull throughs. Back here. That's the margarita bill. So get a bird's eye view? No. I was just saying that. <laughs> you know, that's a good picture. Oh. Keep, pay attention to your, your camera. <laughs> Let it hang down. That's always good. A power cord right across the road. <laughs> there you go. Holy man. I would say somebody steal electricity. <laughs> That's what that is. Here's something you don't see every day. Gotta point this out to you. 
the electric cord. Did you get a video of that? Right. Follow the cord. And you see it across the road. That's where they're getting their electric from. They just hardwired it into the power. This is called Troy Drive. Not that you're going to go up it, but I'm going to tell you. That's Margaritaville. Look, straight you can. Miss Marie is getting that now. Of course, those spots are all empty, but they will be full. I guarantee you, this spring that will be packed if they're not already booked. 